as an example of how to uh, use the derivative to find the velocity of an object as a function of time, let's assume you uh, have a toy car or something like that and you wind it up and you put it next to a meter stick so you can measure its uh, uh, motion um, and you also have a stopwatch. And as you do so, you notice that the curve looks something like this. The toy car starts out and it's moving very quickly and then the motion dies off and um, you track it for six seconds, but after that it keeps going, okay? So the time interval down here is in seconds, and this can be in anything, whatever your uh, ruler's in, Let, we'll, we'll call it in centimeters, okay? And uh, this is the shape of this graph, okay? Uh, so negative 0.25 t squared plus 4t. So this is the uh, graph of the position versus time of your toy car. And we want to know what is the velocity. And, and I should mention, okay, before we had the instantaneous uh, subscript down here, any time that I drop that, okay, we're now assuming I'm asking for the instantaneous velocity. So part A and part B here are both wanting the uh, instantaneous velocity. And then part C wants the average velocity over the course of the whole trip, all right? So let's see how to calculate uh, these quantities here. So for part A, I want to know what the velocity is when uh, my clock is reading one second. So after one second, I want to know what my velocity is at that particular point in time. Now, as we said before, velocity is equal to the derivative of position with respect to time. And so what I need to do is take the derivative of this function and then plug in one second into my resulting formula and that will give me the velocity at that particular point in time. So if I do so, if I take the derivative, this becomes negative 0.5 t plus four, All right? So the velocity this describes the velocity of my object, okay? This describes the velocity of my object. And so now I want to know what the velocity is at one second. So this is technically V of T, right? Since this is X of T, this is gonna be V of T. So V of one second is gonna be negative 0 0.5 times one plus four. And so negative 0.5 times one is negative 0 0.5, plus four is gonna be 3.5. And this is gonna be in centimeters per second. So the instantaneous velocity at this point is going to be centimeters per second, 